Well, it's an absolutely beautiful day here in Vietnam. Can you guys tell that we are absolutely in love with this country or what? <laughs> Today we are in Hoi An. We're gonna explore the city a little bit. A little bit of a preview. It's absolutely gorgeous and we can't wait to show it to you. So here we are along the river in the ancient old town. There's all sorts of lanterns around. I actually think they call this the city of lanterns. They light them all up at nighttime. So we'll definitely be picking up the video at night so you can see what it's like after dark. But by the way, my name is Anna and Trevor is behind the camera. We are the Delightful Travelers. Be sure to hit subscribe, give us a like, and maybe leave a comment while you're at it. You're gonna notice no matter what if you're in this city that there's all these beautiful bridges because the river runs right through it. Just take a look behind me here. We're gonna be on the hunt for a very unique bridge soon and hopefully, hopefully later in the video, maybe we'll either get out on the river on a boat? That would be nice. That would be pretty there are, cool. There is an abundance of boats here, so I don't think we're going to have any trouble with that. <laughs> also, if you guys are wondering why it seems a little quiet in the video today, it's because Vietnam has just opened. It's the year 2022 if you're watching in the future, and there's not a lot of people, not a lot of no, tourists. I think, they, I think the uh, country just opened a few weeks ago, and we really have the city, I'm not going to say all to ourselves, but it's really quiet. You'll probably notice that this town is really colorful, and the way people get around is either by scooter or by bike. School. Also, I can't help but notice people are just outside enjoying the outdoors. This is our type of town. Yeah, if you're wondering where it's located, it's in central Vietnam, just along the coast. There's actually some beaches not too far from oh. here, but we won't have time for that, unfortunately. No. We haven't lived in the Dominican Republic, so I guess we don't really need beaches that long. I also read the population is around 120,000. Sometimes that's not so accurate when you look it up online. Sometimes it just includes like city proper or the whole area. So if I'm wrong on that, someone can correct us in the comments. So going along with how beautiful and well-preserved this old town is, it's a UNESCO World Heritage Site. And it's because, and I'm gonna go to my phone for this one, Hoi An, ancient town, is an exceptionally well-preserved example of Southeast Asian trading port dating back from the 15th to the 19th century. Oh. So that must have been when trading was, but I also read that it, this city itself is like 2,000 years old. So. Oh, that's pretty cool, but you know what else is cool? What is cool? That bridge. Well, I wonder how many people can say they get this iconic bridge all to themselves. Yeah, I huh? don't imagine that happens very often, other than <laughs> the past two years, but there weren't any tourists here, but look at us. Lucky us. <laughs> I know, this uh, video is going to be Hoi An with no tourists, yeah, I pretty think much. People <laughs> that have been here before are going to be really shocked to see how empty the streets are, because we've heard from uh, like friends and other people that normally the streets are just packed with people. But yes, this bridge is absolutely beautiful. I'm pretty sure it costs money to like actually go on it and across it. I think I read that it might include a temple or something as well, but you get a gorgeous view just from yeah, outside. You don't even need to go on that yeah. beautiful bridge. Wow, I still can't get over what I'm looking at. Actually, we take that back. We're on the bridge right now and you can just walk right over. It connects basically two roads, huh? Yeah, but there is a door through there and I saw a ticket office. So maybe yeah. it's to go inside and like, it might be a museum or something like it that. It probably is, but it is cool that you can walk over this for free. So this bridge is the symbol of Hoi An and it represents the harmonization of cultures, specifically Vietnam, Japan, and China. Also, it was built by the Japanese between the 16th and 17th century. Pretty wild. As we walk, you're gonna notice how beautiful all these buildings are. I was reading that a lot of them date back to like the 18th and 19th century, some of them older than that. And we're very, very lucky that this city actually, it was one of the only ones in Vietnam that didn't get destroyed during the Vietnam War. There is so much for sale on this road, but there's no one on the road. There's literally no tourists around right now. I know, I actually feel kind of bad because I'm sure people have been hurting for the last oh, yeah. two years with zero tourists. I mean, everywhere depends on tourists to get by. This is a tourist city. We notice a lot of people like try to get you in and think that that's probably been happening for years, but we always have people coming up to us, where are you from? Where are you from? <laughs> yeah. Come to my suit store. They do make suits here, by the way, for very, very yeah. cheap. It's known <laughs> for suit making, believe it or not. This I've never heard of that like a town, but there are people that do come up to you trying to get you to spend money on their tours and things like that so just keep that in mind but remember there was a pandemic here as well and yeah we all want to help these people out as much as we possibly can well we just randomly come across uh, this thing yeah this is how pretty the city is you're just walking along the street you look over and you see stuff like this what is this place i know we're going to look it up on our phone but look at this it's like a little pond all these kind of lily pads and then a very ancient wall over there yeah it's Beautiful. Ah, uh, we found a sign here. The Ba Mu Temple Gate. Right, I was gonna look it up. 
look up and see what that is. <laughs> what but, even is that? I don't know. <laughs> Give me a minute. So I'm trying to find a little bit about it online and I ha honestly haven't found much other than it dates back to 1626. But I don't know what type of temple it is. Maybe <laughs> Buddhist? Might be Buddhist, but I think yeah. we're going to need their help. Yeah, if you know the answer to the question, please leave a comment and let us know. There is one thing we do know. It is hot, you guys. You might have noticed Whew. I had to put my hair up because it was just too <laughs> hot to have it down. If you've been watching yeah. the last few videos, you also might have noticed that we haven't really been sweating that much because the temperature has been really nice. <laughs> I think it's been like most days around like 25-ish yep. and not humid. But today, I don't know what the oh, temperature no. is, but today. <laughs> the humidity is out and I'm, I'm sweating. Yeah, we're just, uh, well, we're dying over here. We thought it would be a good idea to take you back to our hotel. You can see there's uh, bicycles that are free. They come with the hotel. And look how pretty this is. I know, it's such a cute entrance way. You have all these fountains, the lanterns. It's very, very hoi and it's called Little Riverside. And it's not that expensive. It's <laughs> not. So the thing about staying in Vietnam is that really everywhere is so inexpensive. We splurge, like, and I mean splurge on this place for a whole $70 a night and that includes breakfast, but you can easily find a place for like $30 to $50. And by the way, that $70 gets you this view. It is aptly named Little Riverside because it's literally right on the river. I think a lot of the rooms, not ours, we'll show you that in a minute, have a river view as well. Yeah, and that $70 also gets you this pool and this view of the river. I cannot believe the value, the bang for your buck that you get. This is such an amazing pool and uh, yeah, if you're wondering, we're going to be chilling out here a little later today, but not, not in the video. We need to take a break at some point. Our room hasn't been cleaned yet, but we're going to give you a tour anyway because it still looks really nice. This king size bed, I'm pretty sure this is a king deluxe room or something along those lines. You can see like the Asian theme happening in here. You've got TV and mini bar over on this side. Got your desk and a patio over here. We do not have a view of anything, but it's still nice. Yeah, it's uh, pretty nice. The river is kind of right down there. It's kind of like a cool kind of living wall there, huh? Yeah, across from, I think there's a fancy hotel on the other side with a big pool that we can kind of see. Now we'll go in and check out the uh, bathroom. This is probably our favorite part. Definitely the best part, but check out the doors first because they're really cool. <laughs> Goodbye. Yeah, <laughs> that's awesome. Hello. <laughs> but look at the bathtub. There's like this huge stone bathtub. I did take a bath in here pretty much the moment we got here. Over this way you have the sink. Excuse our mess. We have everything everywhere. <laughs> then you have a really nice shower, rainfall shower head on this side and toilet here. All right, that's what you get for about $70 per night. Not too bad, right? So we have plans. We're going back to the pool without you guys and we'll pick you up a little later in the evening. Well, welcome to Hoi An at night, huh? I know, this is apparently where all the people were. Where were they today? They must have been sleeping? I'm not sure, but they're all out right now. Yeah, everybody is out right now. So these people were definitely asleep today. One of the things about Hoi An is at night, it just lights up. You're gonna see why in a few minutes here, because you'll start to see some lanterns around. I mean, it's so colorful. There's a lot of people outside. I'm surprised, but look at what we're coming up to right now. Can you see how many lanterns are here right now? And there's tons of people as well. I didn't realize coming into this city how lit up at night it's going to be. And there's not even that many tourists here. I know it looks like there's a lot of people around us right now, but this is still early. Vietnam has just opened and here we are. I can't imagine what it's like in real life, but look at the color of these things. I actually can't believe how beautiful this place is at night. I don't even know if I could compare it to anything. I mean, we've been to lots of European cities that are lit up really beautifully at night, but this one maybe takes the cake. I don't know. <laughs> I know, and our camera isn't the best at night, but we we had to come out and I show really this. hope you guys get at least somewhat of an idea of how gorgeous this is, especially here on the river. There's all these boats with the lanterns on them. We maybe we'll go try to do a boat tour right now, just because it'd be fun to float around with, you know, all the lanterns. Well, all right, we're back on the bridge where we, um, well, sort of started the video. There's a lot of people out here now trying to dodge some of them as we go. <laughs> Almost ran into someone. So we are about to try to find a boat to go on. We think we can go on one of these colorful boats around here if someone approaches us. Usually they walk up to us and go like, hi, do you want a boat oh, ride? They will. They will. <laughs> they'll find us. I know they'll find us. Well, we found people trying to get us on a boat ride. Do we yeah, have her? So hard to <laughs> we have her. How much is a boat ride? Uh, one on right two. How much? One on right. 100. One yeah, that's, one that's too much. It's, it was less expensive somewhere else, huh? Someone said 50. 60? Yeah, 50, 50. Oh, two people 50. Oh, yeah. that's too much. 
two people. I don't know. Yeah. Someone said fifty for two yeah, people. Yeah, 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 two thang, two thang lucky. <laughs> <laughs> I know, we'll see. Alright, so this is how it works here. As you can okay. see, she's following me. If you ask a question, you're going to get people uh, telling you different prices. We were told it was not as expensive as she said, but that's fine. I just thought I'd ask anyway. I think she's still behind me. <laughs> she's still with us. Okay, I don't know. We're going to keep going and just see who else. There was a person we met last night named well, her hat said Everest, so if we can find her. <laughs> okay. Well, look what we look what we've done. <laughs> two people fifty. Two people fifty. Okay. Should we do two people fifty? We agreed on two people fifty. We can't figure out if they're working together or they're competing against each other. <laughs> this place is pretty special, but we wanted to show you the realities of it. <laughs> when you're down here at night, there's a lot of people hustling to get you to go on boats. So right now, I think we're about to go. We appreciate it. They're nice. <laughs> I think they're still back there. She's trying to, is she trying to sell you one of those things? Yeah, I don't need a light. <laughs> you don't need a light? No, I don't. Sorry. <laughs> well, it's official. They have literally corralled us into this little tiny boat. Yeah, this is great though. <laughs> we, this is awesome. This is what we wanted to do anyway. We wanted to take you guys out here. They're all so nice, but when you talk to them, they will continue to kind of Chase, chase shoes. Is they that the right word? They, they will, will chase, you. chase you. <laughs> but yeah, our guy's back there. He's the captain, and we're coming up on something really cool this way. We have a bucket list moment happening right now. We're finally in Hoi An, and yeah, we're about to go under this beautiful bridge. We are ducking, literally ducking under a bridge. So don't you hit your head. Be very careful. <laughs> they don't really give you a whole lot of warning there, do they? No. Ooh, there you go. There. We're safe. Bridge behind us. How cool is this? There's so many boats out here, isn't so there? So many boats, so many lights. This is one of the most beautiful things I have ever seen. <laughs> I know, look behind us. Look at that bridge. I really like how peaceful it is out here. There's lots of boats, okay. but everyone seems to not collide. Or oh, as I say that, we're about to hit. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Everyone's really friendly. Oh, we're about to go under the bridge again. <laughs> under the bridge. <laughs> One thing I want to point out is a lot of people drop these kind of lanterns. You can see there's like a little candle in there. Hopefully you guys can see that. It's cool. There's a few of them floating around. I had heard that on the full moon of each month there's a lantern festival where apparently you light all those candles and put them in the water. It's supposed to be really really beautiful. I think we're missing it by like just a day or two sadly. <laughs> well that gives us a good reason to come back. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Alright well that was really fun. <laughs> it was a lot of fun. It was only a few minutes like we really got in, went under the bridge, came back. So it was probably like maybe 10 minutes. It was equivalent of like two, two and a half dollars. Two and a half dollars. If you're coming here, make sure to do that. That's like literally one of the highlights. One of the highlights of Hoi An. There's a lot of highlights in this town. <laughs> Speaking of highlights, we're off to get something to eat. And this time we're not going to be eating Vietnamese food. We've done that in another video. You can go back and watch it. We're on the hunt for something else. Well, welcome to Burger Craft. This is a kind of hipster burger joint mixed with a craft beer place. So right here on the side of the street, we have our beer and it's not just any beer. This is a Vietnamese craft beer and it's an IPA. Now, this is serious, you guys. The last time I had an IPA beer was back in October, I think October of 2021. It's been a while, so it's time to try it again. It's been a while since we had craft beer. Oh, if you're new around here, we love our craft beer. gonna do the trick it's gonna do the trick it's nice and hoppy that's pretty much pretty much the bar when it comes to craft beer but we've ordered some delicious burgers and they're about to arrive so no giving us a hard time for eating Western food sometimes you just got to do it we've been eating a whole lot of really really delicious Vietnamese food we even did a whole tour in the last video it was all Vietnamese food sometimes you just need to eat something different eat something a little bit more comfort food it's funny because sometimes we'll uh, talk to people that will travel to a city or a country and they'll come back and complain about the food because that's all they ate the whole time and they got really tired of it so it's okay to mix things up here and there the burgers have arrived and I actually went for a veggie burger it's a Thai veggie burger mm. sound really interesting they also had a, like a, an Indian spiced one this yeah. one has I think some peanut satay sauce which is really what um, interested to me and I forget what the actual patty is made of but it's got some veggies on there okay. <laughs> let's give it a shot mm. <laughs> they're quite the size <laughs> mm, that's got some really nice flavor going on actually because it is like Thai spiced I feel like I got 
a burger, but like an Asian style burger. So I'm not really cheating on Asia at the moment, just kind of. <laughs> but it's got a nice peanut sauce on there. The burger itself has like uh, maybe basil in there because that's the predominant taste that I get, and maybe uh, like cumin or something, something kind of Indian flavored. It's a, it's a nice, nice combo. This is yummy. And did we did we talk about the uh, bun yet? Really nice bun. I went for the classic burger today. I usually go for that because I feel like it's the baseline for a place that you're at, a restaurant you're about to try. You want to see how good the basic burger is on this guy. We got some lettuce, we got some tomato, of course you got the patty, and you got that bun. It's just like a glistening bun, just coated in something. And on this guy, with some secret sauce, not sure what that sauce is, but we're about to find out. Oh yeah, that is good. I noticed right away the patty. It's an Australian grade patty, Australian beef, so that was very appealing to me. The bun is really good. I'm wondering if they make that in-house. Not quite sure. Obviously, there is some secret sauce on there, so I like that it's not just ketchup, not just mustard, not just relish. I could use some cheese on here. I opted not to go for the cheese, but I bet you with cheese it would be good. But the patty is really good. Overall, this is a really good burger. We got some fries, we put some Cajun sauce on them. Makes for a great combo, especially with that IPA beer. Well, the burgers were great, but that's not the only thing that was great. The entire day was great. Bucket list moment again, we've got to explore Hoi An. Yeah, the city is absolutely amazing. It's everything we wanted and so much more. <laughs> we don't have nearly enough time here. I wish we had more days. A couple of nights is just not enough. Not nearly enough, and I underestimated just how beautiful it, this city is yeah. at night. It's so colorful. And even during the day. It's beautiful during the day, and then at night is just incredible. Definitely one of the most beautiful cities I've ever seen at nighttime. So I hope we're giving you guys some ideas on what to do here in Vietnam. If you're planning to come over to this side of the world, we highly recommend you go to some of the spots that we've been to yes. so far. And if you got this far in the video, it's Trevor and Anna, Delightful Travelers. If you're new here, it's nice to see you guys. If you're not, it's always nice to see each and every one of you that tune in each week. And there's lots more content coming up from Vietnam. We are flying next back to Hanoi. We Ooh. were previously there in another video, but we only had one night, so we really didn't get to see yeah. that much. And so now we're gonna spend a few days, we do a few videos, yeah, we got some the plans. city a little bit. That city looks super cool. We didn't have enough time, but this time we're gonna do it properly. Yes. All right, guys, that's it. From Hoi An, wishing you delightful travels. See you soon.